What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and in this video I want to take a look at one of my favourite weapons to use right now in PvE and this is a hand cannon called the Devil You Know. That's a name I'm sure some of you will be very familiar with from Year 1. It was originally a Year 1 weapon that was brought back into Year 2 with the April update and of course you can now get this from Vanguard Packages which is how I got mine. I'm sure some of you guys remember this back when Destiny first launched. This is one of the best weapons in Destiny sold from the Vanguard Quartermaster. I got my hands on this very good PvE version I definitely want to shout out for you guys and talk about the weapon in general. So if you go through the perks, you can see why I love this weapon so much. The sight's nothing really too game changing here, don't really make a massive difference, but this thing is definitely what does. This is the perk Outlaw, easy one of the best perks for a hand cannon in PvE, simply because you can get that kind of fate bring effect, where you headshot an enemy and you can reload it super super fast, and definitely makes that main downfall of a hand cannon not really so bad. The main kind of downside is you have to reload, and they normally take really long time, but as long as you get in headshots with this weapon, that's going to counteract the main downside to using a hand cannon, and it really reminds me of using a fate bring up from year one. This thing is just perfect in PvE. In the other perks, we also have small board to boost the range and stability. That's what I've gone for. I think it's the best one. We also have hammer forge and rifle barrel. Not really too fond of these perks. I don't think they make really good trade offs. I definitely prefer small board. I think it's the best option right here. And it's going to boost stability, which is quite important for this thing. You don't want to be kicking way too high. And the last one, we have army of one. This is not a great perk. This is quite a dud. It doesn't really do too much. And like I said, the main downside to using a hand cannon is going to be that reserve ammo and the magazine ammo. It goes down pretty quick. I think Bungie by accident kind of nerfed how much ammo the hand cannons have, so they don't come with much, and you definitely want to be preserving the ammo as much as possible, and in PvE it can really run dry, you need to go on a massive kill streak to notice it in Crucible, but in PvE you can actually quite easily notice your ammo running dry, so taking two shots to kill every enemy is really not going to cut it, and that is why Outlaw is such an important perk, it's going to make that reload super quick, and of course the high impact is necessary as well to one shot the enemies, and it just feels great to headshot them and reload super quickly, it definitely does need more ammo, I think Bungie need to increase the hand cannon ammo in PvE, I've never really seen why there is actually a limit and why you need to actually pick up primary boxes. It doesn't really seem all that necessary. There's not really many like exploits you can do with just spamming your primary weapon. That's the only real downside to using a hand cannon versus the other classes is the ammo really isn't enough. Another important side of the hand cannons is also the magazine size. That needs to be pretty big. And a lot of them nowadays have quite small magazines, like sometimes eight or nine. And this really does not seem to cut it. You need to extend a mag to try and boost that a little bit. But it's another way the hand cannons kind of fall short a little bit. So you can't really do that much DPS if you're reloading all the time. Once again, like I said, Outlaw is going to increase that. So the reloading is kind of not really a factor. But 11 the mag, I think, is quite decent. You can let off a lot of shots, do a lot of damage. And then even when you do need to reload, it's going to be really quickly. So once again, that is why I'm so happy with Outlaw on this thing. I don't think I'd really really use a hand cannon or even consider one in PvE if it didn't have Outlaw on it because it simply just makes it kind of obsolete and doesn't feel like it does DPS compared to weapons like pulse rifles and especially scout rifles as well. Now another reason that this is a fan favoured weapon and so many people loved it back in the day is simply the handling. It's one of the best handling weapons in the game, it doesn't kick too high and is really really snappy. A lot of weapons don't have that certain feel that just a hand cannon should do. Like even Hawkmoon, as good as that is, it does feel a little bit heavy and sluggish. Whereas this thing feels exactly how a hand cannon should, just really quick and really agile to use. And that is why people loved it so much because the handling, it was one of the best handling weapons in the game. I'm yet to try this thing out in PvP. I don't think I will, to be honest, because I've got much better hand cannons like the Hawkmoon or a Vanity or something else like that. I don't think the roles I have on this are especially good, especially Army of One and Outlaw. I think it's definitely more of a PvE weapon. But let me know if any of you guys use this weapon in PvP or the Crucible, or if you have any success with it. I'm not feeling like this weapon would perform too greatly. But of course, let me know if you guys have any success using this weapon in the Crucible. So that has been a quick look at the W Note and a mini review of the weapon and how I'm finding it. I'm definitely warming up to hand cannons once again since the April update. Seem a lot more worthwhile, and this is definitely a weapon to keep an eye out on those Vanguard packages. If you get one of these things, have a look at the perks, you could be onto something really, really powerful. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Drop a like rating if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.